Hey, Tyler here with Theater Design Company. This is week number nine of Tech Tuesday, and we're going to go over Apple TV with JVC projector settings. The Apple TV settings will work with other projectors such as BenQ and Sony's. Obviously, the JVC projector settings are specific to the JVC, and we're going to dive right into it. Thanks a lot. Okay, so we're going to jump into the Apple TV. We're using our projector here, and uh, lights are on, so the image quality is not the best, but I think you guys can get the idea. First and foremost, software updates are on. Let's update the software if needed. And then our next settings here is go to the video and audio settings. And so as you can see, none of this is set up. So let's set up our audio real quick. And we're going to select this output to Dolby Atmos on. That'll give you the immersive audio through the Apple TV. And then the next setting we're going to do is go to format. And we're not going to enable HDR. We're going to go to 4K SDR. I know it sounds counterproductive, but that's what you do. And we're going to select OK on that. And then, as you notice, it actually automatically updated our Chroma to 4.4.4. .4. It was at 4.20. And this, again, will vary between projectors. But for the JVC, if you're using a fiber HDMI cable, that's generally what's going to default to. And then the most important aspect of this, match dynamic range to on, matched frame rate to on. Okay, so we're gonna exit out of the Apple TV now, and I wanted to note the color saturation's way off. That's because the projector originally was set up to HDR, and we're gonna go over those settings now. All right, so let's jump to the JVC side of things here. So as you can see, we've got a uh, image on here. This is an SDR content from Apple TV. Uh, it's washed out a little bit, not only by the lights, so you can actually see it when we're filming, but it's uh, washed out because it's saturated. And what I mean by that is uh, it's an SDR content, and the projector is trying to push this thing to HDR. Um, it's set to HDR 10 right now because that the previous system we were using in the previous setup on this had HDR10 content to it. So first and foremost, we're going to hit the info tab. You want to make sure you're on software version 2.10 at a minimum. And then what we're going to do is scroll over. And so you can see our content type was set to HDR10. Our picture mode was set to HDR10 and toe mapping HDR auto. And so what we want to do is jump over one menu we want to jump down to auto pick mode select and so on our SDR content we actually want that to be natural the SDR 3d we don't use that in this room so that's gonna to leave to last setting HDR 10 which is what we're really important on this is what we're working with the Apple TV settings that's gonna be frame adapt HDR 1 and then HLG we're gonna set that to HLG so what that settings do is that when the projector sees an SDR content from a screensaver or Apple TV menu or even the splash page, it's automatically going to go to the natural setting. However, if it sees HDR10 content, it's going to go to frame adapt HDR1 and it'll simultaneously switch between those so we don't have to worry about any settings on the remote. It's just a nice super automatic feature of the JVC projector. Now, let's go in and set up the final projector settings as well as the HDR. So we're going to back out of this menu. And we're going to jump back over here. So we're still content type HDR. We're still picture mode HDR. So what we want to do is drop down here and we're going to go to auto. So now you can see we've got it on auto. Picture mode is natural. Color profile is auto, 6500K. And you can see the picture just cleaned up a little bit. I know it's hard through this thing. Now what we want to do is, and you can't do it while you got a content going to it. So I'm actually going to pause the video real quick. And I'm going to set this on some HDR content and pause it. Okay, so I've got this on uh, Netflix now. Just a, uh, I've got it paused on uh, 600 ground, which is Dolby Vision. However, Dolby Vision is a uh, is based off HDR10, so it'll uh, let us lock these settings in. So again, I'm going to go to Info, and I'm going to scroll over. Keep going by that. Sorry, I'm going to go to a content type. So now you see Auto. It automatically did that. Went to our HDR10, 
and we've got our picture mode a frame adapt HDR1 so uh, some other settings but we're going to keep this on that HDR1 setting and then we're going to scroll down here we're not going to mess with any of the color profile or the color temp the HDR temp is uh, default 6500 kelvins which is a good setting for this however uh, JVC and a lot of the techs recommend going frame by frame on this so we're going to do the frame by frame setting on this and then I'm going to jump down here to this and explain real quick the uh, HDI, HDR quantizer and so what that does is we've got it set to auto wide and what auto wide really does is it gets into this one and two settings automatically so it's going to be deeper blacks and brighter colors but again we're going to leave that on auto that's the recommendation that I've been told by several tuners and by JVC however we do want to turn theater optimizer on and uh, theater optimizer basically works with frame adapt HDR and it helps with the picture quality by selecting the screen size so we're going to select this we're going to set we have 120 inch screen 16 by 9 we're actually a little bit under on the 1.0 gain so we're going to set this though so as you can see now theater optimizer is on and then we're going to back out of here so these are the final settings that we'll do for this so auto HDR 10 frame adapt HDR frame by frame and so what that allows us to do as you can see the input level coming in so HDR 10 and what I'll do real quick is I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna switch this back to the menu so now I'm here at the Netflix menu which is just SDR and you can see it's gone to SDR pointed out and so I'll jump back to the 600 ground movie so again I'm gonna go info and now it's automatically gone to HDR 10 it's kept our colors temperature settings it's done everything we want automatically so no basically put the JVC remote away except for power on and off anyway I hope the video helps a little bit confusing but uh, pretty straightforward stuff thanks a lot